Hey friends, this is Nick and I call my channel DZ Performance and I really appreciate you tuning in. The motor package I've got to bring you today is a 406 small block Chevy hydraulic roller. Uh, I've got startup stand run video. I've got a uh, video at the dyno shop and I'll be back to go over the complete specs and dyno sheet with you. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'm going to do upcoming projects and throw in some random, random Hot Rod Magazine uh, Drag Week photos uh, at the end. Okay, I'm back. Before we get started on the specs, I thought I'd go over something with you. These are 461 double hump heads that I've ported myself. And these heads are kind of famous. Um, how I got to know Eric Weingartner, Weingartner Racing. Um, if you watch my channel or his channel, we get together and we dyno test uh, together down there in Eden, Oklahoma, occasionally. Is He had a challenge that novice or unexperienced headporters could send in their cylinder heads and he would flow test them and review their work and uh, so i tried that and i met eric and we hit it off and made good friends and we uh, get together and dyno test you know different packages uh motor combinations uh, maybe a couple times a year and if you've uh checked out his channel these the Flow testing and review on these cylinder heads are, is currently number four most popular video he's got. It's got just under a quarter of a million views. So people are still interested in the 461 double humps. So on to the specs on this 406 small block Chevy. I've got a factory oil pan on a 1974 509 block. It's a two-bolt main. It has ARP studs with a windage tray. It's a Z28 style windage tray with ARP studs and mounting kit for that windage tray. The crankshaft is a stock externally balanced 400 small block crank. It is uh, standard on the mains and standard on the rods. The rods are Summit Racing forged steel 5.7 connecting rods with ARP rod bolts. They have floating pins and they are the pistons are the pistons that are connected to those floating rods are Speed Pro 12 cc hyper eutectic dished pistons. They're setting uh, 14 thousandths in the hole with a 39 thousandths head gasket. The cylinder heads are uh, once again 461 double hump GM castings that are a 1964 model but they've been milled 15 thousandths and the current combustion chamber size is 62 cc's so that makes a 10.3 combustion chamber uh, 10.3 to 1 uh, compression ratio the cylinder heads have 2.02 intake valves and a 1.60 exhaust valves and they're pocket ported and 
a gasket match by myself. And so they have a minor amount of uh, head port work done to them. The intake manifold that I run was a completely stock Edelbrock RPM. It had a custom made by myself uh, carburetor spacer, non-symmetrical. The, the carburetor that I used on this test was my Pro Systems 1000 CFM. It had a stock HEI distributor. I ran Comp Cams Extreme Energy 1.5 rockers. The camshaft, going back to the camshaft, it is a 230, it's a custom camshaft. It's a 235 duration on the intake, a 247 duration on the exhaust, measured at 50 thousandths. It's a 108 center line with, well, it's a 108 lobe separation with a lift of a 540 on the intake and a point five. 60 on the exhaust the lifters that i ran was howard's the valve springs are 977s by comp cams and the horsepower that we achieved on this project it is 488 horsepower and 513 foot pounds of torque I'll post that dyno sheet at the end of the video in a picture, but that's the 406 small block that I had to bring you today. Thank you for watching. Under the category of upcoming projects, I talked to you about this last week or the last video. It is my HO 454 with a ZZ502 cam in it. I've got a set of totally stock, unported, uh, 781 cylinder heads, and this is a project I pushed to the front. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is going to do. These are 1973 castings, and they don't have any core shiftage. They're very good looking pieces to start with. So completely unported, 1973 781s. I'm going to be dying on these in just a few weeks. Next week, I'm planning on bringing you my 70 overbore Gen 6 454 with Keith Black pistons. The pistons are the KB207-70 uh, with an extreme energy 242, 248 hydraulic roller. Those numbers are measured at 50 thousandths. Thanks for watching. We have track craft going on right now, a nice, a 